Okay, so we are going to remove a knit leader device, also known as a knit contour, from a dead Singer 360. Yes, I know the question was for a Singer SK700, but all I have is a 360 right now. It's a similar um, setup, just a slight difference. I removed the two lead screws on the center part, put it to the side. This now comes off. Mine is broken right there. I did remove all of these parts first. Now there are a few screws you need to remove. One here, one here, you also need to loosen the two screws that hold the handle, otherwise you won't be able to get this module out. There is another screw here beside the uh, big dial. See, it's nice and loose. And now the hidden screw is underneath the row counter. Little counter. Screws right here. Now, most machines that you are rehabbing won't have the needles in. Mine does. You need to move all the needles forward. Probably not this far, but whatever. Now, if you've done this right, you should be able to pick up this module. Oh, still missing a screw here. Okay, one of these two. So, I'm going to undo this one. There are two brass screws right beside each other. And there we go. Okay, so it now has the little trigger. You want to push it in. And you should be able to maneuver that little lever. Rotate. There we go. Okay, so now it's out. So now you can see the three dials that you turn. This part is seized on the machine in question, and you access that little cog with this little spring right here. All you have to do is remove the spring from this little notch and then this little cog comes up. And if you've never seen the inside of a Singer 360 patterning device, there you go. Now we're going to put it back together. So on a slight angle, Slide it in. Get it past. Okay, maybe not. Let's push this in then. A 
Okay, so you push in the little tab and you slide it in until it, it clicks into place. Line up your screws and put them back in. So we have the little screw goes in first. And then the uh, four screws that are all the same size. And here is the row counter, second hole, straighten it out, push your needles back in. lid back on. This is a little bit tricky because you got to make sure that your levers are in the right spots. Sometimes they're not. Okay. And now you lock them in. And put your screws back in. So the knit leader or a knit contour is not that scary and not that complicated. There you go. And that's how we do it.